U.S. spends over a billion dollars a year on scoliosis surgeries. It's actually the second highest hospitalization cost for kids in the U.S. Um, and it is, there's clear evidence that bracing does prevent surgery and that it is effective. Um, also, there's very clear evidence that, it's, uh, that compliance is very low and that kids don't wear the brace, which is why we have developed Cinch, which is our strap. Um, essentially, scoliosis braces are typically custom made. What we can do is we can attach onto that custom brace uh, without needing to alter the structure of the brace. So they always come with Velcro straps. We basically replace the strap uh, with our smart strap that has electronics and sensors in it that can detect how long and how tight the brace is worn. We had about four weeks to create a prototype, so we made our first prototype, um, which is this guy over here. Um, this, was, this was one of the first ones, and this had to actually be plugged into another module, like another unit. Um, and then, yeah, and so this was a drawing from the first month, or like first, sorry, the first part of the program. So the first summer we were doing it, this is a drawing that we made. Um, and it's sort of unusual because the final device actually doesn't look too far off from this. Uh, most startups go through a lot of like pivots and iterations and changes. Um, it's a little bit more difficult to do in hardware, uh, particularly like hardware startups need a lot of cash. Um, prototyping is a lot more expensive than developing a software, uh, software application, and making any changes just takes a lot longer and it's a lot more expensive. Um, but, you know, there's the whole thing, I really enjoy uh, hardware, uh, like working on hardware is much more satisfying to me personally, um, and also I have not really the skills to make a software app, so that's just how it, how it went. Um, so yeah, so this is one of our early prototypes and drawings, uh, and then this is what it kind of ended up as, so pretty similar, but in the process, we went through a bunch of different iterations, so we had these sort of like 3D printed models. Um, we started off actually using, uh, using like pretty big components soldered onto the soldered onto protoboard. And then we also ripped this sensor, the, the load sensor from a luggage scale. We basically just like tore apart a luggage scale, took out the kind of circuitry for signal processing and put that in. And we were able to actually show that, the, that it worked, but basically like we could put it on a brace, we could measure how tight it was. Um, and then it sort of gradually became integrated into a single module. Uh, we, this one's still using Arduino. It's uh, Arduino Micro on this one. Um, and then we actually started moving away from that. So we use the processor that's on the Arduino uh, and built our own circuitry around that for this next round. So this one, we actually designed our own printed circuit board. Um, and I say we, this is uh, Levi was the one who did all of the electronics. Um, so basically how we divided it up was I would, do, uh, I would do the case designs. And so I would start off with the 3D modeling for the case. He would be doing the electronics. So he would get me like, okay, this is about how big the board is gonna be. This is how small we can get it. Um, and here's how tall it's gonna be. And then I would build kind of, uh, build the casing around that we'd figure out what our constraints were for like, okay, you know, the sensor has to be oriented this way and we need to isolate movement in this direction. And so that's how we sort of came up with these cases and designs. Um, we ended up, the next revision was this, which was its own integrated kind of module. I think, I think at this point we had moved off of the Arduino chip and we were using a different one. Um, but yeah, so this one was a little bit more sophisticated uh, we had now moved to machined cases, so these were CNC machined. Um, I think this one Levi machined himself, like on the on the machine, and then the rest of them we actually just shipped out. And then the the top of the case is laser cut. Um, this is this is one of my favorite things to show people. So like before we started making this, uh, we spent like two seconds and we made this out of Model Magic, um, and. It looks pretty close to what, what it is. Um, and so this was a really good way of like going through prototypes. We had sketches and then we went, we moved to this and then we moved to this essentially. Uh, this round was sort of the round after this. So this was 2015. We actually moved from CNC cases to injection molded cases. So with these, we actually made, uh, we made a hundred cases. Um, and so we designed an injection mold, which costs 
uh, I think it was $8,000 for the injection mold upfront cost, but per, per plastic piece that came out after that, it was about $2. Um, with these pieces, if we were to machine these, uh, yeah, when we got this case made, so we had this, uh, no, this one's 3D printed. No, this one's machined. Uh, yeah, so this one was machined. This one cost, uh, I want to say like $200 for the machine part because it's fairly complex. So we got one one or two of them machined, tested them, um, and then went to the injection molded one. So, you know, you can imagine if you're only making five or so, $200 per pop isn't, isn't that bad compared to $8,000 for an upfront cost. But if we're making a hundred of these, then it's worth it to start making the injection mold. Um, so yeah, so that's part of the thing. Um, that's part of the thing with like, different modes of manufacturing. And a lot of this, like we were learning as we were going along. Um, and so these devices we were able to use in a clinical trial uh, in the clinic. And then now we're on like revision six, seven or eight. So this is now, um, this is kind of the, the closest one to what we're currently doing. So we're in the middle of, of getting samples back from the manufacturer, testing them out, um, basically seeing if it meets the specifications Kind of going back and forth with them so we get like two or three made at a time um i think after this next round we'll be making 60 uh, and these were with 3d printed cases but they're with um not the like normal kind of maker bot like 3d uh, 3d printing this is with uh, resin 3d printing um, and so we'll be making 60 of those those will be going through really really extensive tests so 30 of them are just like set to be destroyed uh so basically like pull it until it breaks, uh, like twist it, bend it, dunk it in water, like essentially just abuse it um, and see how much it can take. And then about like 20 of those will be going for testing in the clinic and then we'll have about 10 of those for our own testing. Um, and then after that, if that goes well, then we drop $100,000 to make like really good injection molds um, so that we can make like a thousand devices at a time. Um, so that's that's the process that we're going through now. So it is a very expensive process. Um, so yeah, so before we get here, it's like a process of 3D printing, um, testing, a lot, of, a lot of prototyping. And some of those are just like solid pieces of plastic where you put, you put it on a brace, you give it to someone, you say like, hey, how's, how does this look? We tested a couple of different ways of attaching it. Um, we tested like yeah, so like this is basically a solid piece of uh, plastic. And then we have some that are like more electronic prototypes. And a lot of those are just circuit boards lying around. Um, and yeah, and then so essentially you get closer and closer. We do a lot of tests like with people. So we 3D print the device the closest to how it's going to look. We give it out to people. We say like, hey, you know, give us feedback on this. How, does, how is this working? Um, what do you need out of this? How can we approve this? Uh, and that's essentially, we do as much as we can before we drop $100,000 on injection molds. Um, so yeah, that is, that's sort of the basic process of where we are now. Um, 